All right. Good evening. This is Carla Nelson Chambers with Conference Room Conversations coming to you on Wednesday, March the 9th, 2022. I am so excited to have with us our guest, Ms. Rhonda Fields of Rockin' Bodies, and of course, my co-host, Ms. Michelle Howard. And um, we're just so happy that we have Rhonda here with us today. I'm loving her guns. I told her I used to have some like that. I've been losing them. I'm going to try to get them back. So, but um, that's right. But Rhonda is here to talk to, to the ladies tonight about physical fitness. We will have another show that's going to talk about our mental fitness, but let's talk about the body because um, we have been in COVID for two years plus, I think, and adding on for some people. And as we as we as women, I know for me, I've been sitting in this chair almost every single day. I have to force myself to get up and walk and take a break and, you know, just not just rest in my, my eyes, but it's to get my body moving and everything. I'm starting to feel my age with the limbs not wanting to work. And with me, as much, even though I have a membership at the gym, I'm not always comfortable um, going, especially when they were telling me I had, and I love to run on the treadmill. So when they were saying you had to run with your mask on, I was like, mm -mm, not going to work. <laughs> and I've got weights at home. I got mad at home. I got it all. But sometimes it's for me, it's boring. I think all of you all know, I love people. I love to be in the environment in a class and working out and everybody's cheering each other on or what have you. And sometimes working at home is boring. So Rhonda's going to talk to us about various alternatives that we can do while we're at home, how we can stay motivated. And particularly for us older ladies, you know, when we get a certain age, body don't move like it used to. So I'm, I'm listening for some tips to help a sister out, you know, uh, especially when we, again, we're sitting in a chair all day, whether you own your own business, whether you're working for someone else, but when you're sitting at home, you you gotta you have to make time for your for yourself. We talked about that last week. And part of that time that you make for yourself is to get yourself active and everything. So with that, welcome Rhonda to um, our show. Um, I'm gonna let you tell our audience a little and me a little bit about yourself and um, just you know who you are and about your passion for staying physically fit. First of all, I'd like to thank you both for inviting me here on your show this evening. It's an honor. Yes, my name is Rhonda Fields. I'm everybody. I'm 60 years old. Stop telling that lie. <laughs> it's a passion that I've been holding on to for many a years. I started off in fitness in my early 30s. Um, I used to go to the gym and we started off going to the gym, you know, as we, you know, being young and you're looking at your different, you know, family members and all that health problems. And, and I'm mm -hmm. like, everybody want to make a difference. So I say, I guess I'll be the one who's going to make that difference in my family. So that's what made me start going to the gym, started getting into fitness, eating, you know, eating right, working out. And then I found the passion of, Wanting to, you know, take that step a little further. I said, hey, I want to try a competition. And I did my first one when I was 40 years old. I did wow. one a few years old. Now I'm in training now to do one that I am 60 years old. So, yes, it's a passion that I love. And I actually, I try to encourage people as much as I can, you know, to get into it. Not competitions or anything. Mm -hmm. Just to step into the healthy side of living. Mm -hmm. A longer life. Eating healthy, working out, just doing, you know, doing that alone would give you a better chance, you know. To <laughs> so, you know, by me running into a lot of people, I have ran into a lot of people throughout my life who want to, you know, work out, who can't afford to go to a gym, or just, you know, personal training can get a little expensive as well. Mm -hmm. So, I, and I tell people just with a little different tips, especially with the pandemic, working from home. I tell some of them, well, I say, you know what? Just sitting at your desk, whether you're at home at your desk, on a job at your desk, you can be sitting there at that table working your legs. Don't nobody know what's going on. You're working that tag. <laughs> <laughs> up. That little core. Raise them legs up. Hit that little core. Do some leg raises. Do some in and out. Work them thighs, you know? Or even just being in your house, standing up at the kitchen sink, you in there cooking. Lean on that countertop, do some push-up, you know, pushing it up. Do some back bits right off the countertop. 
Utilize your chair, sit in your chair and open up your thighs. You know, pick up that candle before you want to open it up. Raise it up. Hit them arms, you know, work them arms. Just little versions of different things that you could do just in your own home. Pick up a broom stick, do some lateral raises, you know, hotel kangas, chest compresses, small things like that. It's a lot that you can do. Just being home, use mm -hmm. all items and the importance of how you use your steps. Everybody has steps in your house. Cardio, getting that heart rate up is the best thing ever. A healthy heart, a healthy you. Utilize your steps. Go up and down some steps as much as you can. Or just walk around. Set your time. What? 10, 15 minutes? Walk around your house. You know, give yourself a little power brisk walk. Mm -hmm. Water. Water's the key. Make sure you drink plenty, plenty of water. Rhonda, you know, I was, let me tell you. So, Rhonda, I want to say this because... um. I have a history with Rhonda that is so beautiful. And I really want, you know, her to, how you say, share about her business because Rhonda Rock and Bodies is, is her company. That is her business. And I want her to promote that because so many mature women, we really need what she has to offer. Um, she, she meets you where you are mentally, and Rhonda meets you where you are physically on your journey to get back into health. I can say that because she she has helped me. I okay. mean, she met me where I am. You know, I wasn't used to working out. I was just running <clears throat> doing business, no time here, no time there. And the things that she has just shared with the audience is so important because she taught me that it's always time for me. Right. So Say that again. <laughs> it's always time for me. She, what, what Rhonda did was she made me stop and realize that I have to make time for me. She, she touched me mentally. She touched me mentally so that she could physically teach me mm -hmm. how to start to do things for myself dealing with my body's health. I love her so much for oh. that because she Thank gave you. me, I call it a holiday <laughs> kickstart. <laughs> uh, she gave me a holiday kickstart. You're talking about sweating. Mm -hmm. it, was the, it was the, how you say, it probably was the best sweat that I had in a long time that was something that was for me. Right. Right. You know, so so, you know, Rhonda Rockin' Bodies, that's a business. That is her business. It's just not, oh, all of a sudden she's rocking bodies. She just told us about the competitions that she's done in her life and how, you know, you don't have to go to the gym, what you can do, um, you know, from being at home. And let me tell you, ladies, she got before and after pictures that she can show you that are amazing. And these are, I'm going to say, women of all ages. You mm -hmm. know, it's not just us mature women, but us mature women need to get involved That's because right. we're the ones who lack the most. That's right. Then you know, what was Rhonda, oh, you know what? Oh, I'm sorry. To run no, no, into no, no, <laughs> I just want, I really just want you to talk about your business. Mm -hmm. I want you to talk about Step Strong and the Kango Jump Boot Camp. You know, that. I want you to talk about the fact that you are also a personal trainer. So, girl, I just want you to let people know how much you're helping us. <laughs> I help y'all a whole lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Training. That first and foremost, that is my most important passion. Okay, I'm here to help any and everyone out there. A lot of people, like I say, where a lot of people run into problems where they can't afford personal trainers. I actually, it's not always about the money. Sometimes, yes, mm -hmm. we all compensate for what we do, but I run into so many people just walking the streets. They hit me up. You know, they they could tell I have age on me and everything, but they want to know exactly what I do. But once I tell them. I don't run into so many people to where I do help them in all, many areas as far as training them and they end up joining my classes. My mm -hmm. class, you talk about some cardio, that's the best cardio ever. You put those boots on it, mine ain't just jumping. 
mind jumping boot camp style. You put those boots on your feet, and we do our little routine in them, jump around, get your heart rate up, and then I go into the boot camp side of it. With each boot weight, five pounds each, I will work your in and out of thighs, I will work your hips, I will work your core. We go down on the mat, or we use the wall, and then I have my step strong class, okay? And actually, I do that on Monday nights, every Monday night at 7 o'clock, and my um, kangaroo jump class is on Thursday at 7 o'clock. And with the Step Strong, that's basically the steps and weight, high impact cardio. I tell them, I go in there every night, I'll be like, y'all, I'm tired today. They go, oh, Rhonda, you tired, get out of here. Which, really, I'm not a tight, but I got <laughs> They get the best cardio ever. You can go on YouTube and check out, or Facebook and check out some of the Child. stuff. I saw it. I was that that jumping boot. They were, I saw that and I was like, "Woo, I'm tired." Just, just like, I kid you not. I was like, I was like, "I'm not in the class." What am I doing? One thing I can say, I thank God for He gives me plenty, plenty of energy to where I'm actually. When I get start a class, it's no stopping. But I thank God first and foremost. Let me tell you, I started these classes two months ago, right? Mm hmm. Um, I went and went into the spot with the class. Three days later, I went through that spot. Wow. So I went to another location. Wow. I was at that other location for like three weeks. I outgrew that spot. So now I just started two days ago at this new location. Why well, had to turn away 10 people mm. already? Don't Won't he do it? it? I don't, and then I, I end up putting it on Facebook. So now it's like people calling me, people texting me, people ringing my phone. Personally and honestly, I can't accommodate where I'm at now. So I'm in a process now of having to look for another location. So if anybody, all my viewers or anybody out there, y'all know any way I can go, please hit me up because uh, a sister needs some help. Guess what? That's a wonderful problem. I hope you with passion and heart. And, you know, that I, got, I got a lot of love to give <clears> and a lot of energy to give y'all. Y'all want some of this. Y'all got to help me get there to get it. So, there you go. I, know, I, I don't outgrew this third spot. And I kept telling my girls, three moves. The second one got to be ours. That's right. Mm. I'll say that again. Oh, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm claiming that. That's right. In the name of Jesus, I'm claiming it. But, um... That's where I'm at right now. And listen, a month and a half, I don't went through three spots. And that's awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. I mm -hmm. think that's just God speaking it into existence. Because it, it, the, you know, need, the, the need is there. Yeah. Right. And I look at it as a blessing. So like you say, and you you when you give back what you put into it. And I look at throughout my years, the passion that I have for this, the Things that have done for people, helping people. So it's almost like I say 2022 is for you. I flew through it for Ooh, me. I'm gonna write that down. You know, I, 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 I keep up in my mother. We're gonna so use that. Can, yes, we are. I told my mother that she was never gonna walk again. You know? And I looked at that my mother, I looked at that doctor. Now I can say it, I mean, he got all the degrees by him, but I got my knowledge behind me in personal training. Mm -hmm. I, when I told that man, I said, okay. I took my mother back there exactly two months later. To, I said, this is the woman you said was going to never walk again. I did therapy with my mother every single day. Mm. My mother was walking again. I have a pastor who has MS. And he came to me. He was walking with a walk his cane. He no longer walks with that. Amen. I have oh. a man right now who has MS. Okay? And I wish I, I should have had her in here with me. She could testify and she could show you not only, you know, that she would show you how she's walking. She's walking really good for the She barely was walking. Mm -hmm. She's walking really good now, you know. But she I'm can so always good. put comments in, in our comment section like, wherever she's looking and, and like, just, yep. <laughs> so I just don't work with, you know, I don't pick and choose and say, well, I can't help you because I can help and try my best to help any and everybody that's out there. Amen. That's awesome. I love that. Yes. I love that. Yes. So yes. tell me, as as women, and as we are moving into that, for we have a, a women of all decades, but mm -hmm. a lot of us, you know, it's the 50s, 60s, and even 70s as we're, you know, getting into that age where the hormones are either raging or shut up, they shut down or whatever. 
Like, what are some simple things that um, we can do uh, just to start? To to start, and I because you said about eating right, and I know that that's for for. I'm not even gonna say African American. All women, I you know, <laughs> all women. We have this thing, you know, where um, we were talking about with one of our other friends about stress eating. And, you know, finding out why you eat certain things at certain times or why you eat at all when you when your body's not hungry. So talk to us uh, to give us some quick little anecdotes of certain things to do when uh, or to be, you know, to, as far as what we put in our mouth and how that affects our bodies. You know, because you can work out, but if you eat wrong, it's like defeating the purpose. So truly it is. But I try to tell people as well, because sometimes. It ain't always about what you eat. I try to modify what you eat. Because see, when okay. you're dealing with something, you just can't take, you know, something that they used to, you know, from them just completely. You take it in your head you, in moderation. You start taking things from them. Because the body, first of all, you got to feed the body. I run into people that tell me, well, I don't eat breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. I want to eat lunch and dinner. Or I'm going to eat breakfast. And then I ain't going to eat no other meal. And I mm -hmm. try to explain you gain faster when you don't eat more so than when you do eat you gotta feed the body because if you don't feed your body your body will start storing its own food away and then it, mm -hmm. you gain more weight so it's not about how much you eat it's about the portion size of how you eat you got to eat three meals or more a day but you break it down in smaller portions now, yes, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you to eat all the pork you want to eat. Or this, it, it, so sometimes we do got to use our common sense on what to eat, okay? Or how healthy we want to eat. So, and, and that's so that. important. I've mm -hmm. heard about those five small meals a day. And mm -hmm. when you're busy, it's almost like I can barely get in three. I can't get in three. Um, I'm guilty of what you're saying and of eating the one meal a day or maybe two. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm not hungry, so I, I won't eat, you know, or I'll sit and have a breakfast bar and some water. I've been guilty of doing, and I'm not doing it right now because I'm fasting certain things, but I'm guilty of having the coffee in the morning and look up and it's 12, one o'clock and I haven't put any food in my mouth, but I've had that cup of coffee. And so that, it goes back to what Michelle was saying earlier about the mindset. We have to change our mindset before we can change our physical body. And so, yeah. um, I thank you for, you know, it's a reminder for me and probably other women. Oh, yeah, I am supposed to eat. Right, it's right. Something in my <laughs> mouth. Do the meal prep as well, okay? Yes. Like what you just said, <clears throat> when you take a Sunday, somewhat meal prep, different meals for yourself to where you might get busy at work or whatever, you pack up that mm -hmm. on a pack, okay? So you still, you snack, it's like a snack eating. But you're still snacking, eating on stuff that's healthy, because you meal prep it throughout the week. Or if you just keep like little healthy things with you, bananas or apples or nuts, raisins, you know, you can always, it ain't gotta be a meal. You can snack on anything, as long as you're putting that fuel in your body. Okay? And mm -hmm. water, very important. I haven't drunk nothing but water maybe in over 20 years. Water versus a soda. Leave the soda mm -hmm. alone. Try to not expect nobody, and I tell my people. I don't expect you to do what I do, drink all the water. No, but drink as much of it as possible. Mm. The water alone, you'll see a difference in your skin. You'll see a difference in your health. So it's very, water is very important to take, you know, to make sure you're intaking it into your body. Very good. You know what? I want to take just one minute. Um, Rhonda Sheila Jones. <laughs> she's popped in. She said, hi, I'm Sheila. I'm the one that has the MS that Rhonda has yeah. really been helping me. Sheila, I want to say thank you for coming into the show tonight to support Rhonda because we love her. I mean, I'm, I love her. I think she's awesome. <laughs> so I know if you're popping in and you're saying stuff <laughs> like that, that, you know, MS is, uh, it's, it's a very serious crippler. Yeah. Right? Uh, my pop who passed away, he had MS. So I, I know some facets of what it can do to you and what it can do to your body, um, you know, as it progresses in your system. So I want to say to Sheila Jones, stay with Rhonda. 
keep up the great work keep up the great work because you'll be part of her testimony more you know, she she already is. Is. She would tell, i don't think, she would tell you i don't just train her i have been to two or three of her sessions with her doctors and actually met them oh wow they actually yes. highly commented on the work i have done with her and the progress that she had you know for she had came so far so I don't just train her. I actually walk this with her. Mm -hmm. That we is have so another, awesome. We have another person, Stephanie Smith, via LinkedIn, and says, Rhonda is amazing and an inspiration. That is so wonderful. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and I'm also yes. grateful for, I'm sorry, Steph, uh, go ahead, Rhonda, please. No, no, no. I was saying thank you to Stephanie. Yes, yeah, she's, um, I have trained her many a years. Um, and she's actually, she's a great person. She had lost a great amount of weight, and she would tell you as well. I have her before and after shots. You actually go into my Facebook page, you'll see a lot of before and after shots from different people. Stephanie is one of them. Very good, very good. Because I'm going to tell you, I went on there. That's why I was so amazed just to see the different age groups of um, women, you know, young ladies, mature women, um, who you have helped throughout the years. And basically, what you've done. You have transformed their look, right, to a healthier look. But I'm sure in transforming how they look and how they feel, you have really transformed their lives. You have taken the time to just transform their entire life. Because I remember you taught me when it comes to health and, and fitness, it is something that you have to do as a lifestyle change. Yes, it is. You know, it, it's it's not like, oh, yeah, I just did that. Oh, I just didn't know. It, it, it becomes a lifestyle change because you have to try to stay on top of that. And that's what I try to tell people. I get, like, I get people to come and say, I'm going to be in a wedding or I'm going away for my birthday, you know, and they want this quick, you know, fix for, you know, me, mm -hmm. I'm like a miracle worker, we gotta, you're gonna take time. But then I try to explain to them, don't just do it for that occasion. Make it a lifestyle change, you know? It's very yeah. important. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has to be a lifestyle change. Um, I, I also understand sometimes that when it comes to, you know, women making the choice, like you have the step strong and you have the kind go jump. Um, mm -hmm. What is it about that that either makes women hesitant or then they're gun ho and they want to come in and, and, and do it? Well, especially with the kind go jump, the first thing, everybody's intimidated over those boots. Do they look at them like, oh my God, I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall. I not, not, not tell you can't fall forward, you can't fall back, when you can't fall to the side. So once okay. I explain that, um, most of them hold on to the wall. I'll be like, come on off the wall. And I'll hold on to their hand and I do a little, you know, bounce with them. Get okay. them comfortable. And once I do that, they be in there, Michelle, like they pros. I'm like, see, I told you. So, <laughs> I'm like, before you know it, you're going to be learning different rules and all that. But, um, the, they they can be a little intimidating. I was when I first got certified. I went in that room. I looked at them boots. I said, "What I supposed to do with those?" <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? I love them. I'm outside. I run in my boots. I do everything in them boots. They are the best. Mm, well, I'm gonna tell you, those boots do look intense. <laughs> intimidating <laughs> um because i said to myself i told carla i said you know i i want to try it but i don't know if my, my balance is good, yes, but be good for you that can't, you can't you can't it's a um, little stop on the front you can't fall forward you can't fall in them at all and actually when i tell anybody just put them on look straight ahead and just walk you'll find yourself walking and it's almost like you don't even have the boots on your Oh, wow. Really? You don't. I'm telling you, I encourage you one Thursday, come to a class. You would love it. You know what? That's what I'm going to have to do. Look, I'm going to be over be like, all right, right, wait a minute. <laughs> y'all first class is on me. Just let me know when y'all ready. All right. Will do. <laughs> I would think that it would probably be good for your core, too. 100%. Especially mm -hmm. the of it. But you know what, I'm going to tell you. 
thing I do is good for your core, Reverend. I'm personally training where you get them boots on the rev you on the step. The core is my best. That's my favorite. I love the core. Well, look, I'm just going to say this, Carla. Her core is so strong. She could probably put weights on there from her core and lift it. I'm just telling you, I'm a witness to that. She is I really amazing. And I, do, I do do that. I, like, I put heavy weights on me and just, yeah. And yeah, I'm core. telling you, her, look, girl, if I had a core like that, you couldn't tell me nothing because you can't okay. tell me right now. <laughs> it's still possible. <laughs> no, 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 you can't tell me nothing right now. Because, <laughs> see, I mean, I also, as I train my people, I do what you call a body wrapping. Each one of my clients, I wrap them. Even wrapping a day session, or either they could come to me every day. I'll tell them, you come every day, stop by, and you get wrapped. The wrapping is guaranteed two inches off your waistline, no matter what. And I, it's not much. If people are like two inches, two inches, not much. But guess what? The very first time in doing it, you will see it and notice the two inches off your waistline is guaranteed. Yes. And now she's That's telling the truth. That's true. That, but you know that wrapping is a um, Eastern um, cultural tradition because I've you know the, a lot of the women after they have babies in the Eastern Hemisphere, the the mothers and the elder women they wrap them to help keep their core after and they it, had their babies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before I started wrapping for my clients, I used to um, actually I, I used to make and design weighted hula hoops. Actually, I was on the news that about. I think about eight, nine years ago, I was on the news with those. And the actually that right there is also good too, with helping tighten the cord the way the hula hoops. So I do a I segment. Never, with see, I never thought I never related hula hoops to strengthening the core. I I yeah, mean they, a way why do you think you look so good when you was younger? I <laughs> never thought about that, girl. <laughs> and, and that's why I tell when they be like they, they get intimidated because these are weighted. Now, but like, just think back as a kid, how much we hula hoop? You, how do you say, once you use it, you don't mm -hmm. lose it. You mm -hmm. don't keep moving that body in that same position. Just the only thing you're incorporating is a weight with it. That weight going around, hitting that midsection, hitting that core, you tighten your core muscle up. Wow. Wow. I'm excited. I'm, girl, look, let me tell you, every time I talk to her, I'm in awe because I'm being educated. Right. I am really? I, it's like I'm learning so much, but she does not. Do, I guess the one thing that I really love about Rhonda's approach right to 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 women, to especially as mature women, is that she makes you feel comfortable. Right. Here you are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she, she makes you feel comfortable um, the way she talks to you and educates you. You don't mind opening up to her about any fears in dealing with your transformation. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And she always says, you know, we're going to work through it together. Right. It's very, it's very important. And mm -hmm. I work out. I just don't stay in there and personally train and tell them. I make work one out. more. One more. <laughs> no, it's just one more. I literally work out side by side. Whatever I have you do. I am doing it with you. I call it a buddy system. That way, I mean, because workout can be, if you're not used to it, you yeah. decide to take that step to, you know, make your life better. And the average person, don't, they don't want to go to a gym, you know? That's the reason why. Because they feel as though it's boring, ain't got nobody to do it with. So I, I try my best to make workout as fun as possible. I interact with them. I do the workouts with them. So, and we do it as a buddy. So it, it comes, you mm -hmm. know, it becomes a lot of fun. I'm so, Rhonda, so Rhonda, we're at our halfway mark. Can you tell our audience what, um, how to get in touch with you? What do you have a Facebook page? What's your email or website or how or phone number? Whatever it is you want your our, our audience to know as to how to contact you and where you where you're located and everything. Okay, I'm located in Pikesville. Um, I do have the Facebook page. It's Rhonda Rocking Bodies on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I'm. Also Rhonda Wally Fields on Facebook. I have two pages. But um, I my phone number is 443-324-0968. That is my number. Um, hit me up. I'm here for you. I do also, I offer Zoom classes. So, I just don't Ron do, mm -hmm. I was saying I offer Zoom classes. I have people that I train broader. I have one person in Hawaii. Wow. 
gorgeous. Yeah, I do classes. I do personal training versus Zoom. I do. I'm mobile. I do go to clients and I do personal training as well. So, cause, you know, cause a lot of people don't drive. So that's another thing. People feel like those things going to stop them. No, mm-hmm. I, will, I, will I will hit you. can hit me up on Zoom. And on Zoom, I'm going to work out with you as well. You still don't, you won't, you won't be left alone. We're going to do it together. In other words, we have no excuse. <laughs> no, <Not God. laughs> I'll come to you. You can come to me. I have a full state of yard gym in my basement. So where in, where's your studio in Pikesville? Can you give that information out? Or are you about to outgrow that one and you need well, another? Well, so, no. so, she, so she has a step jump and the Kango jump studios right now, oh, right? That's not in Pikesville. That, um, that's off of there on Route 40. Okay? That's in um, Catonville. Okay. Okay? So it's called Revolve Studio, Wellness Studio. And that's in Catonville. Um, I will send it in the link. The address and everything to you. Okay, all. great. That'll be mm-hmm. great. Yep. But let me tell you, I'm look, look, I'm already advertising you because she also has the addresses on her Facebook pages. There you go. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, 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 you really gotta go to my Facebook page. The address to the wellness studio is right there with the classes and everything. Mm-hmm. So um, there's no excuse. All you gotta do is go to Rhonda Rockin' Bodies. I'm there for you. Whenever you want to take a class, all the information there. Address in my phone number as well is on my on um, Facebook. Awesome. So, so Ron, let me ask you this now for, for, for those who might want to do the personal trainer thing, are you still open for personal training or are you full right now? No, I do have um, a couple of slots open right now. Okay. Okay. So look, all right, audience, y'all, y'all right. hearing this, she has a couple of slots open, you know, for women, women like myself. With the workouts, know. get some of bodies. Mm-hmm. The, look, look, because I'm going to tell you, there's still time. And the way that she does it, you will see the transformation. I mean, like in no time, you know, you got some homework that you need to do. You come to her, you do your workout. And then when you're not with her, you should have homework to do to make sure that you're keeping up with what she has taught you. Right. Um, we have one other. We have 22 Landy. It says, as Rhonda said, family is the hardest to train, but she is helping me without knowing it. I'm the little sister that looks up to her. Oh, isn't that sweet? Isn't that so sweet? I'm like, let me tell you. So little sister, I look up to her too. (laughs) I look up to her too because I I just, you know, I I can't say enough. Um, you and I, and I say it and I brag about Rhonda because I have personally experienced, I will say, the Rhonda rocking bodies, right? <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you, she, not only does she get you to where you need to be, but I'm going to tell you, this woman looks absolutely amazing. She and does. Okay? Like, we're, well, we're, we are seeing the guns, but she's head to toe gunned built i mean she 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 is amazing right now, but she's still the, feminine you know how a lot of yes, women say they she, don't she want still has to the look hard like a man yep. you yep. Know, but she, let, me share this with y'all. let me share this real quick because it's funny because I, I i told you both i am in training for a competition yeah so as yes. all go i am going to get like so i was just telling my girlfriend today i said girl i was in my closet yesterday making sure i Pull out all my dresses because I'm I always this is me. I walk around all the time and work out clothes because you know I, I sell myself with my body. So I say I can't walk around this summer and work out clothes because I'm gonna be looking a little too hard. I say I want to mm-hmm. get the wrong impression. So I like to pull out my little dresses, keep my nails done, and keep my little sandals on. So I can look. I might be built walking up, but I gotta make sure I keep my little dresses on this summer. <laughs> Yes, well, you know what? I want you to I want you to keep us updated on the whole, you know, the competition and the women's thing and bodybuilding that 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 you're doing because you know people always want to ask questions about the whole women in bodybuilding, right? Because some women some women do look too hard, right? Right. And it's almost wow. like how can you I, I guess get bulk like that and then but then how do you smooth it out? That yeah. Okay. 
Okay, and that's an easy question to answer. First of all, most people that you see get really, really bulked up like that, mm -hmm. they are in steroids. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. If you look at even my other competition pictures I showed you in the shop, I don't look hard like that because no. I do everything natural. I'm not going to take, I don't take supplements at all. I don't want to look that hard. And even at the company, and the, most of your definition comes from your carb. The closer you get, you start carb depleting yourself. So the more, mm. the less carb, the more defined my body is going to look. Okay. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm eating more to, I'm feeding my muscles. Okay. It's almost like filling the muscles up with blood. Okay. okay. So I, I'm feeding my muscles. The cardio is to slim me down, mm -hmm. but I'm also muscles up. So that's what you're seeing now. And the closer it gets, then I'll start carb depleting myself. Then that's when all the definition that's going to come out that I'm, all the hard work I'm doing now is going to come out at the end. And then the day of the competition, once I get off that stage, my body going to crave for carbs. And I'm going to run to the nearest <laughs> whoever has this and then I want to, I got to feed my body back. You know, then I'll start toning it back down. It's very easy to tone it down because, you know, the, I mean, me personally, I don't want to walk around looking like that. I just, I love soft definition. Mm -hmm. It look like I'm working out. So once it's over with, then I'll tone it. It's very easy to tone back down. I do it all the time. That's, well, all, that's look, you, look, she makes it sound easy, Carla, because I'm like, she's like, oh, I'll just, you know, turn it down. <laughs> Like, you know, like some of my clients who want definition, I just, you know, it's very easy to put definition on a person and it's very easy to take it back off. Long as you're not, if you're doing it natural, your body is soft. It's going to work along with you. Hmm. So it, you, it can be done. Okay. So, you know what I wanted to ask this about, like, you know, do most of your clients right like can you tell whether or not if you know they're better with say a treadmill or weights mm. you you know because some like you know they they're they're better at doing weights than they're better at cardio they're not good at cardio so can you tell that or do you do assessments when your clients I, start i do assessment on everybody when you first start first of all i gotta find out where you at okay because everybody weight limit is different so when when you first when i first start training you i'm gonna do assessment to see which weight limit you can handle for them even on the treadmill everybody need cardio you can't two things they work hand in hand cardio and weights you lose it i'll slim you down and i'll build you back up okay so you have to do the cardio but i can't put, i would never put somebody there on the beginning on the treadmill boom Put you on 40 until you start running. No, I got to test to see where your heart rate at. Okay. The thing is, is to get a person heart rate up. You don't have to run to do that. You could put the um, incline like on a three. Yeah, your incline maybe like on a three. Your speed could be like on a four. And you're just doing like a little walk up and that get your heart rate up. Okay. So then the weight is not about the weight, it's about the repetition of what you could do with a weight. Right. Because I can take a five pound weight and make you feel like you got a 25 pound weight in your hand. Mm -hmm. So everybody coming how I want to bulk up. Can I use that 10? Can I use that 15? No, sweet. It's not about the weight. It's about taking a weight and learning how to work it with your body, hitting that different muscle group, how to hit it, where to hit it, and know what you're doing when you're hitting it. Because you're going to, somebody can hurt themselves. You know, I have ran into a lot of people who hurt themselves. They rotated cuff, they bags, and, and then they come to me. Can you help me? <laughs> Can you fix me after I broke myself? <laughs> and then even with this pandemic, I you know, a lot of people ran out there online getting these little quick personal training license, this, that, and another. And all of a sudden you got all these personal trainers out here. Believe it or not, to be a personal trainer, and you sitting up there in front of these people with these, you know, trying to get your license. A lot you need to know. You gotta know the muscle groups, you gotta know a lot. So you gotta be very careful and make sure you don't right. hurt no. It's like it's basically like going to school because you really do yeah. need to understand how those muscle groups work and everything. Oh, um, yeah. When you were talking about weights, I remember there was a, when I was younger. I'm gonna tell the audience right now. I was younger. We talk about 06, so that's a long time ago. 
I worked myself up to 20, um, 20 pound dumbbells, right? Okay. Ask me to pick up a 20 pound dumbbell a day. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just say no, not right, right now. now. Okay. You might have to start with that five, then a 10, then a 50. I like the eights. I love, I love the eights, to, like, especially if you're going over your head and everything. I love the eights. And then okay. for biceps and um, triceps, I could do 10 and 15, but it's like anything else. If you've been away from it for a while, you, it's going to take you a minute oh, to come back. Yeah. Take, that's like, that's with anything. Yes. Yeah. You don't jump right into it. That's what I try to explain to people on the heavy side of anything. Right. You don't do that. Right. Oh, yeah. wow. This, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm sitting here and like, look, I done look, I done took my hand and jotted down a little bit of notes and mm-hmm. everything because I'm really... <laughs> I tell you, every time I'm around Rhonda, I learn something educational, um, you know, that I can do for myself. You, you understand that I can say, you you know what, why do I still do that? Or why, you know, it's just, it just makes you come to the understanding that we are in Women's History Month. And there are different ways that we can celebrate ourselves. Carla, right. you've been talking about that on the show since, you know, since we started the yes, show. Started, but, right. Right. And, and but the thing about it, you know, we've really been deep into that th- this month, um, you know, because international women celebrating women's history. Um, we just really want to talk about getting back into what we need as women. Right right? Getting back into our mental health and our physical health. Carla brought out the health can sometimes means cleaning that closet out. Well. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, 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 and cleaning oh, no, that, there. Not today, no. <laughs> I know, right? Cleaning that closet out is, is like, okay, I'm moving all these things and I'm moving even people out of my closet so I can focus in mm-hmm. on myself as a woman of where I want to be. Where where am I trying to be in the next right. chapter of my life? You, you know, it's almost like, okay, we say, okay, you know, we did this all winter. Now we want to, you know, get in shape so that we can have the spring and summer look. But you know what? Sometimes we have to give a different spin to that. And Rhonda, I'm I'm so happy that you said that you are 60 years old because for us mature women, I think that we have to not think about having a, a spring summer body. That's not right. what it's about. All year it's round. About right. At what age do we want to start taking care of ourselves better? Right. And look good all year round. All the time. So I, I was, um, there was a um, outdoor festival in my, in my neighborhood a couple of years ago. And this lady, I have, I'm trying to give you all the picture, short haircut, salt and pepper, what she had less salt in her hair than I do, but it was a short little cut. Um, and when I say petite, petite, like in height, right? Not skinny. She, you know, she had skin on the bones, but she was just a tip in and we, she went in to get a soda um from the um pizzeria to get something to eat or whatever because it was an outdoor festival and she was just tipping and i knew she was an older a older lady right mm-hmm. but i couldn't tell how much older and i but she just looked physically fit she like you said it wasn't like she had the guns she was the feminine shape and i'm like ma'am you look wonderful she says thank you and she was something like 70 something years old and i was like Yes. when i get old <laughs> you ain't supposed to say it like that like when you right but at 70 something years old she was tipping she looked wonderful and she didn't and she just told me how old she was because she was proud of it mm-hmm. she could just i mean light step you would i really thought i was thinking 50 something i really was Mm-mm. She was in her 70s. And I was like, I want to look like you when I get to age. That's, mm-hmm. that's my goal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, look, look, I always tell Rhonda, girl, your, your goal been met like 50 times. <laughs> that's how good she looks. Look. She looks so good. Her goal been met 50 times. How about that? Okay. Yep. So the goal yep. is when we get there, we're going to look good too. How about that? Yep. <laughs> Everybody's healthy within ourselves. Yeah. Say that one more time. I'm sorry. 
I said, I always tell all my clients, we all look good. The thing is working out to be healthy within yourself. Within Absolutely. Yourself. Yes. Oh, that is, I love that. Healthy within yourself. Yep. Uh, I tell all my clients that. Yep. I want, I want this. Oh, they tell me, can I just take my body off and give it to you and let you work it out? <laughs> no. We're going to, you're going to keep your body and make your body. <laughs> I'm going to keep mine. <laughs> I, I make your body healthy for you. Right. But I'm going to tell you, Rhonda, now, I'm probably one of those people, right? Because I'm going to tell you, working out, there's pain for that game. It is. But, but I, I like that pain. I, I well, okay. Carla, you can go ahead and like the pain. I'm just saying. But I feel okay. it hurts. It hurts me as well. What is a love-hurt relationship? Mm -hmm. you got something you really, really want. Rather you want to make it that lifestyle or whatever reason. You got to, it got to be something you really, really want. Endure the pain. I take it. Like, oh, how, you know, you know, how, you how do you talk women through that whole Okay. I'm gonna tell you, from my experience, though, I'm going to have to do it all over again, but it's almost like they talk about a runner's high and, um, and they call us, you know, gym nuts or whatever, but your body craves it after a while. And it then does. the body gets used to whatever that that's why the personal trainers goes like, yeah, you, you lifting them 15 pounds a little bit too easy. It's time to increase it. And if you're doing it the right way, you will see a change in your body because your clothes start feeling fitting better. You sleep better. You, your body doesn't want certain things, you know, and that's why you're willing to endure the pain because you like this. You like the results that you're seeing and I, that you're feeling. I and that's well. Take a favorite outfit that you might want, that you want to wear, rather, you know, is in your closet or you want to mm -hmm. go buy something. Take that favorite outfit, put it on your closet. Why are you laying in that bed? Or do you think you, you know, you have to do people who want to, you're like at nighttime binge and want to eat wrong. Mm -hmm. Look up on your closet at that outfit hanging up there. You know, think twice about it, you know. Okay. That way, encourage them to not, you know, to go straight, eat right. Or just say, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Just knowing that I want to fit into that outfit. It's very important. And I always encourage my people to do just that. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I remember when I was, you know, when, when you go sit down and you're like, ow, <laughs> my mother would say, what's wrong with you? Not, not just, she said, been working out again. Yes, ma'am. But you, but then after a couple of days, you don't feel it anymore, you know, oh, and that's, oh, you feel like, good. Yep. So I'd rather take that pain than to take an injury pain or, a pain because I'm unhealthy, you know, and yeah. then, um, a weight gain pain. Cause it's one thing when you were talking about the stairs, it's one thing to run up and down the stairs because I'm getting my cardio in the house versus I go up a flight of stairs and I'm huffing and puffing cause I'm out of shape. And, and your heart is it was like, whoo, let me catch my breath. Yeah. That's a, di that's a different kind of huffing and puffing. And I don't <laughs> like that one. <laughs> well, which one? You know what? And I'm glad you said that. Cause I actually use that as an example sometimes with people. And I teach them, it's very important to know how to breathe when you're working out. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people today don't know that. I'm very big on form, teaching my people form, and I'm very big on teaching them how to breathe while they're working out. So they can go mm -hmm. a little distance. Because every person when they're working out, they think, you know, you're helping, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. Breathing is a pattern according to as you're working out. Whatever you're doing, it's a one-two pattern. Put that breathe, that one-two pattern in your workout. Mm -hmm. Because, gee, when you're breathing, I tell my people, breathe out, breathe in. According to your workout, you're taking less air into your lungs. It's just like even with running. Every person, when you run, you're out of breath fast because they filling their lungs up with air. But if you breathe on that pat, 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 and you breathe according to that, no air, air at all is going to go into your lungs. So you'll find yourself even going to run. You'll find your workout going out longer if you put the one, two pattern and breathing with it with your workout. You won't get tired. And I learned, and while I learned and understood breathing, because I grew up dancing, you know, the ballet, tap, jazz and everything. So we understood that. And you have to breathe while you're smiling. But I also understood, really understood the breathing technique, taking yoga and, mm -hmm. um, and understand <clears throat> how it's so important because in yoga, you don't even breathe through your mouth. Everything is through your nose and, you know, and. Um, but you understand the importance of it. And I love being in the hot yoga because I, I don't have a problem sweating. Let me sweat all those toxins out. And but that I learned the, the real significance of breathing with the yoga 
and it makes you better when you're doing the workout, like you said, for the cardio with weights and all of that. Yeah. Right. So it, it is good. I'm just, I got to get back there. <laughs> so Michelle, we're going to be up. We're going to be buddies and, and do this thing. Lord Jesus. Let me just say a prayer right now. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. Okay. Michelle already up in the house. I'm waiting on you. Though. I yes, know. Let me, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I um I always tell Rhonda, let me say, say, look, say a prayer before I begin because I never know how I'm going to feel afterwards. But you, you know what? I'm going to say this, though. I'm, I'm going to say this. I want to say thank you to Rhonda. I want to say, you know, you are such a blessing to so many women who cross your path. Um, you, you know, like you talked about everything, you, you know, yes, there are things can be expensive. You try to work with folks and everything because you got to take care of you too. You are a business. That's right. You can't allow your business to fail. So I want to say this for all of the, you know, women who choose, you know, Rhonda's rocking bodies, pay her because she's worth it. Okay. And you will receive the benefit that she has to offer you in the results that you're going to get from her. Absolutely. Um, I, 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 I say this in all honesty. Um, I say this from um, being a part of her life. I say this in seeing her as a blessing to come into my life and to understand where I'm coming from. Um, she knows I have a crazy work schedule, but she's always right there, right? And so I say, Rhonda, thank you absolutely for for, for pursuing what your dreams are, right? And I, and I do too for just meeting you. And what I love, what I've been hearing tonight, is your work with people who um have physical challenges that's i'm gonna i'm gonna label it that way because some of our challenges are temporary and some of our challenges are permanent and right. some of our challenges <clears throat> we got a challenge over here right now and then you, you took care of that now i got a challenge over here in a different right. part of the body and um it's good that that someone understands how to heal that and work with it so that you aren't making it worse but making it better like the what piece you talked about with your mother you know, I love to hear those stories. Oh, they'll never walk again. They'll never talk again. They'll never hear. And it's like, mm, not so, not not yeah. believing that. And then right. here you are astounding the doctors with your mother's, you know, actual physical testimony. And yeah. that is the difference between just a regular physical trainer and a personal trainer and someone that is about healing because you're doing it from a holistic approach. And that that to me is what makes the difference. And you get what you pay for nowadays. I think we're oh, realizing oh, that. Yeah. We're real like you get what you pay for. You know, and sometimes you're paying for stuff and you and you're not getting what you what you think you're paying for, you know. Um, so and for I anyone that's all its results. That's mm -hmm. right. I tell people I give you a hundred percent of me. I give you a thousand percent of me on the for hundred percent of me. How about that? Absolutely. So, yeah. so Rhonda, do you have any parting words for, for our audience? Yes. I would like everybody out there, first of all, put you first. Make this year 2022 about you. Start, you know, jumping on the healthy side of things. Because it's no more than just, you know, <clears throat> drink any, put, put more water in your system. Try your best to eat a lot of vegetables. Start working on eating a little healthier, slowly but surely. Don't try to, you don't want to send your body through a shock anyway. So just taking things away too fast can do that. So slowly but surely, take, you know, there's something you really, really want to do. Try to do it. There's no more than just look back at that grandbaby, that great grandbaby, or just your kid. You want to see them graduate. Look at them and say, I can, I will, and I can do it. So mm -hmm. but I said. And I pray that everybody, you know, follow those rules and just start a new year. Thank you. I love that model of a 22 is for you. A 2022 Thank you. is for you. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of our um, comments that we received from the various channels, for supporting Rhonda, for supporting us. This is Conference Room Conversations. It's a place for women in business and women in the workspace that need answers to their questions, 
solutions to their problems and in, and if you want it in an environment that's comfortable where women can talk and share and i know we have men that come in and listen in and that's fine because it's good for them to understand the female perspective from time to time we will have some male hosts i've already had one but it was talking about women in, in in the manufacturing industry and everything. So these are men who support women. Um, if you have topics for the shows, we, we've we got some coming up. But if you have some, hit me up via my YouTube channel, <clears throat> Conference Room Conversations. Hit me up via Facebook with the Nelson Ideation Group. And even on LinkedIn, on my LinkedIn page, which is Carly Nelson Chambers. And lastly, Twitter, at Nelson Ideation. We are so grateful, Rhonda, for you to be here with us. Um, we, I'm looking forward to coming to meet you and attend several of your classes. I'm going to have you definitely come for those sessions we were talking about that we're not going to talk about on the show. Right. <laughs> we're going to leave that alone. I, I will definitely will be there for you for that. I truly thank you. All thank for you. Me, and it was a pleasure. Absolutely. And Michelle, do you have any anything you'd like to say? You know what? I want to say thank you as well to all of our viewers for tuning in. Um, you know, this has been just just a wonderful type of platform for us to celebrate women um, in business, for them to promote their business, but also to talk about challenges. And yes. sometimes we can help to solve some of those and sometimes other viewers can help. How about so that? I just want to thank everybody for like tuning in. And as Carla said, you know, if you got some topics that you want to hear us talk about or you want us to invite some guests on to talk about, please reach out to let Carla, her let her know, and we will definitely talk about it and see what we can do. Absolutely. We do have, uh, I know, thanks to Michelle last week, she talked about, because this month the, the theme is around mm -hmm our our fitness both from a physical and a mental um point of view and next month we're going to be talking about frontline workers and mm -hmm. all of the different people who are out there on the front line even though this pandemic seems to be slowing down for the frontline workers they never got a break <clears throat> so we're, we're going to be talking to some of those people and then as the, we're not, well, i don't want to get too ahead of ourselves but we do have some wonderful topics coming up in the next few months so stay tuned um, subscribe to Conference Room Conversations. Hopefully, if you see this later, hit the like button. Um, I'll make sure to have some comments in, in the YouTube channel for um, Rhonda's Rockin' Bodies, where you can you know find out about her later on. And with that, we are so grateful to have you a part of our show. Rhonda, congratulations. Much blessings and success to your business. That first and foremost. Thank you. And you are making an impact in Thank the lives you. of other people. And when you do that, then it can't help but be a blessing back into your business. So for that, we say thank you. And with that audience, good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you.